All right, let's try this again because obviously uh, stuff is happening and I don't quite know why. Hold on. How y'all doing? Everybody all right? Y'all all right, we're just trying to get this stuff together here. It's weird that this is not working for some reason. Can you see on your end? Is everybody all right? Is everybody all right? Everybody, is everybody all right? You shouldn't see him because he's not here yet. Nope. Okay, y'all good? How's everybody? Who watching? Let's see. What's going on? Y'all talk to me when y'all come in. Forgive me for the delay. It's just been some um, technical issues here. So tonight, um, just talking a little bit about uh, my creative process uh, through uh, my debut project that's coming out this year, Mighty and Great. Again, if you don't have it already, please, please, please go uh, get it where Ever you download your music, let me see. My brother is here now. Can you see me and hear me now? I can. Thank you. <laughs> or was you clowning the whole time? I'm just saying, you know. So you was clowning the whole time? Song says he's an on-time God. This late. Um, it's we, were def- we were de- let's be clear, we were definitely on time. However, was we? you you gonna you know French all of a sudden because I wasn't in there. So we I wasn't was on time. I was there at 825. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Where were you? <laughs> I was trying to join this ghetto link you didn't put up here. Take it easy now. Take it easy. Here we go. This this how, how this is gonna be. I see. So good evening, everybody. So this is my little brother, my frat brother. Uh, Lamont, LJ Sloan. Um, we have been connected for 20 years at least. Now, uh-uh. You know what you're not about to do? Let's tell your age. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I'm older. Does that make you feel, is that better? Uh-huh. Where is this streaming? How, how are people watching it? On Facebook, um, Facebook Live. So oh, let's, okay. let's go share it. Um, I don't see it on your page. That's why I was asking. Go to my ministry page. Ministry page, people so extra. What's your name of your ministry really? page? Marcus G. Morton Ministries. Marcus G. <laughs> Ministries. Uh, you know, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Now tell sis, don't be talking all over our people like that, okay? Lamont says, sis, don't be saying, don't be talking all over our broadcast, okay? You know, trying to find it. There it is. <laughs> She said, you lucky she in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share this. Let me share this with people. Uh, just share. <laughs> so while we're getting everything together here, I want to use this platform right now to encourage everybody to vote. So please uh, exercise your right to vote and right. uh, make sure you go out and vote. Uh, voteless people is a hopeless people. Um, so we shall move. Uh, so let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Who is Lamont L.J. Sloan? What do you do? Who who are you? Where tell tell the people who you are. Uh, I mean, I, that's my name. I just I'm <laughs> Lamont. I'm, I'm Lamont, and uh, I'm originally from uh, East St. Louis, Illinois. Uh, I've lived a couple of places, but now I currently reside in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's where I am right now. Um, I'm a clinical research associate by day. And uh, I'm also uh, fortunate to be uh, a singer and songwriter and actor. So, right, you do some of everything. So, let me first just start out by saying um, I'm super proud of you and, and what you have been doing, uh, and and all of the projects that you've been doing. Like you've been on main stages, you've been traveling, you've been writing for people, you've been singing all over the place. You were like, and you're not just writing, you know. I mean, you're writing for like mainstream artists and. You know, so I'm I'm honored um, that you, you know, are part of this project, man. So let's talk you about. Uh, you need to do this. Oh, right, 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 right. So to him, but, but, but say amen to me. <laughs> 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 so, um, so let's let's talk. So we have um, 
Tabitha on here. She said your last name. Your sisters are my soror. So oh, I got a ton of sisters, so that is very possible. They all <laughs> dealt. Uh huh. You're right. That's me. That's me. Oh uh, yeah, look at this on me. Okay, praise the Lord. So let's talk about it. So let's talk about your song. So okay. I called you. I said, brother, need something, and you said let's meet at my house. I came up there real early one morning. And we sat down and here we have been in this place. So let's talk about that. Yes. So um, you called me for a song and you came over here at like six o'clock in the morning. Did. From America is sleep, right? Yep. But you came over and was singing at the top of your lungs. I was. For this song. But, you know, I appreciate it because as a songwriter, um, it's always a, a very, very weird experience when you have somebody singing words that you wrote because you heard them one way in your head. And um, for a lot of other songwriters out there who could probably attest to this, it feels like your baby. It's like you're giving your baby away and you wanted to, uh, some justice to be done to it. So um, I'm honored that uh, you would even think of me to uh, ask me for a song. And I'm just excited to be a part of the project. Yeah. And I mean, and not only are you a part of the project, you're a part of the team overall. So you are, you know, one of the singers and all of that stuff as well. So thank you for, you know, doing all of that as well. That's so I, want the people I, I thought it was like where the background singers were going to get together <laughs> and all sit around and somebody's going to play the guitar. And, and so <laughs> everyone's going to sing. But I have my face on the flyer. <laughs> y'all, yeah. listen. So y'all, listen. I've been doing this for four weeks now, and I've reached out to every writer prior to doing this. Lamont is a world traveler, so his mind sometimes is a little ate up. So he says he don't remember us having this conversation, but it's all good. He's here now. So. Now, who do y'all think has uh, problems between you and him? <laughs> so, moving on. So let's go back. So we're both members of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. So uh, the best in the world is no, you know. Um, and so that's kind of where our worlds collided initially. And, you know, we grew from there to where we are today. So um, who else have you written for? What like who, who are some of the other people that you, you've written for? Wow. Wow. Um... You know, I've had an opportunity to write for quite a few people. Sometimes it, when I even think back on it, it's kind of surprising. Um, but um, I've written for uh, Leandra Johnson, um, uh, Megan Williams. Um, I had Myron Butler to record one of my songs. Um, there was this group called Live Ray. If y'all remember them, they had a song called Everything's Coming Up Jesus. And I co wrote their song. Jesus. Um, oh, you know how you know I called you <laughs> when that hit. I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a blessing, man. Um, I got a couple of songs coming up on a uh, Christina Bell's album. Y'all know um, she played Twinkie mm -hmm. in the Lifetime music, um, Lifetime movie, uh, the Clark Sisters. So I got some songs on her album. I co-wrote a lot of songs on the All Nations album and Maverick City Music has re-recorded some of those. If, if y'all heard like the song Most Beautiful, I co-wrote that and the Isaiah song. I, I mean, I, I've been fortunate to be, you know, here and there. Man, you're amazing. Your pen is amazing. And it's not, um, and I'm not just blowing smoke because you're my little brother, but it's absolutely amazing. The stuff that you have written, um, it reaches the heart and it reaches the heart of God. And, you know, as you know, you know, I sing this stuff, some of your stuff at my church and anytime I'm out, you know, Most Beautiful is one of my favorites. Maybe we do that Sunday. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm honored that, you know, now I am a part of the list um, yeah. that uh, you're part of. And you just said you're doing songs for Christina Bell. So you, you have songs. Two, uh, there, there, there should be two on there. Okay. So look out. Cool. So t talk about, um, so unlike some of the others, you've heard your, uh, I've, I've been able to, you know, sit with you and outline, you know, what you wanted to hear and how, yeah. how you, how it turned out. 
yeah. what were your thoughts? Well, this is the thing. I always try to take the position of, you know, there is a way that I would interpret this song and like to hear it. But once I hand it over to an artist that I trust, um, I let them, you know what I'm saying, put their, their spin on it and it can take on a life of its own. So um, I think the merging of our two minds, of our two musical minds, uh, really uh, set well with the song. Absolutely. Uh, that's and that's what I love to hear. Um, you know that it it happened as you wanted it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because if it's not right, I'm gonna tell you. Oh no! Okay, let me help y'all understand something. This boy is one of the most straightforward people I know, and okay. if he not if he's not with it, he's going to tell you. And that's one thing I love about him because not he keeps me accountable because he'll say yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's do this. Or, you know, I know if I call him on, he's going to make sure that, you know, I'm doing what's supposed to be done. Um, let's see, what did Lauren say? It's let coming up. So what, this is what, Lamont, tell the people how you used to be a gigolo. <laughs> 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 you come a body long way. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, and you know they say Satan is the accuser of the brethren, so you gotta watch to be accused. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Lawrence is my brother, man. Lawrence has been with Lawrence um, is my brother too, man. That's yeah, that's man. that's bro. That's bro. Man, me and Lawrence been doing life, man, since uh, the eighth grade of when I met Lawrence. So he really, really knows how I I, I, I kind of came up through music. Like I was never trying to do this, never. Mm -hmm. Like I, I only became a songwriter because I'm a part of this camp uh, called Me Too Music. There's a mm -hmm. lab, Levi King. And one day, Levi got sick and we had to put out an album. Uh, I think it was for Joyce Starks. That's her name. She's from, mm -hmm. from South I love Mama Joyce. So uh, Levi was upstairs sick and he was like, man, we got to crank out this album. I got to write all these songs. And he left me downstairs in the studio and I had to write like two or three songs. Like, and I had never done it before. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like 19, 20 years old. And that literally put me on the path, man, to know that wow, God put this gift in me to write these songs because I was able to write the songs for her project, even do some uh, vocal arranging for her project. And that just kind of set me on the path. So, man, like just to, to even though, like I never thought, I never saw this, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, little man. Um, but to be here now is just a blessing, you know? Yeah. And um, so how have you been coping with uh, the pandemic and, you know, COVID and things like that? What what, how have you been coping as a songwriter? Because a lot of what we do, um, you know, as artists, you know, everything kind of stopped kinda to a certain out. degree. Yeah. Um, yet, you know, God still created little avenues for us to, you know, do what we do. So talk about that for a minute and, you know, tell the people how you've coped uh, in this season. Netflix and prayer. Uh, I live alone. I'm single. Um, so, I'm in his house and to be in a pandemic, because one thing about living alone is you can go out and actually, you know, start to see people. And that's how you get your fix, right? Of human interaction. But being in a pandemic where everybody's kind of inside, uh, it, li it literally left me with my thoughts uh, and uh, a lot of things that I had to face and a lot of things I had to flush out. So I had like voice notes in my phone and I want to encourage y'all too, because I know it's a lot of other songwriters out there, or people that aspire to be, and they start off with these little snippets. You know what I'm saying? They may hear a melody, or they may like write down a little lyric or something and they have all these voice notes in their phone is, you know, 15 and 20 seconds long. So during this time, I just use this time to flush out some of those concepts that I had, you know, put to the side. And I, I really think, you know, this pandemic, it has been like such a tragedy in so many ways for many people. Mm -hmm. And also uh, on the other side, it's been a blessing because people have now had to give attention to things that they put it on the, on the side and you know, on the back burner. And as a songwriter and as a creative, um, this was a really good time to kind of hone in and focus because all the noise was drowned out now. You know what I'm saying? Like the noise was gone and we we're left to our own volition. What are we right. gonna do? What are we gonna choose to do with this moment and this time? And this moment has been an extended moment. So I wanna encourage people to, uh, and I'm not saying you gotta write a whole album in a week, but I'm saying if you can take just a little bit of this time to uh, connect with another creative, like how I connected with Marcus um, and, you know, co-write something or work on something. This is a, a great time to do so. Absolutely. I mean, and what you just said is exactly what, you know, what it's been, you know, uh, 
you know what this journey has been for me, you know, with, with the recording, you know, happening almost five years ago. And now we're at this place, uh, which I'm grateful for. And I just want to encourage everybody to enjoy the journey just because it didn't happen when you wanted it to happen. Doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Delay is not denial. So I need you guys to, you know, focus in on whatever it is that God has given you and just seek direction. And like Lamont said, you know, get with another creative and, you know, flush that stuff out. It can be done. The playing field has been leveled for everybody. everybody. So it's, it's room for everybody. everybody. Don't give up. Don't. Somebody may have told you no before, but <laughs> yeah. do it again. And, you know, to your point with the voice notes and things like that, that's how, you know, Mighty and Great was written for me. You know, I wrote Mighty and Great, but I had that note in my phone like yeah. a year and a half before you know, we even got to the place yeah. of saying, okay, we're going to do a live recording kind of thing. So, um, don't, don't give up, keep pushing. So you make sure this album come out too, because you know, a lot, a lot of y'all artists be out here getting all these good songs from these songwriters and talking about what y'all going to put out. And then we look up in two and three years, y'all done got our $11 and we don't see no CD. Let me tell you something. How long have you known me? <laughs> you know, if I say it, put this music out. I promise right. <laughs> it's coming right. uh, sooner than you guys think. So again, uh, keep uh, looking out on, you know, my pages and things like that. But let's, before we get there, Lamont, I want you to tell everybody where they can find you, uh, your social media handles and all of that good stuff. Now listen, I want to give a disclaimer because oh, Marcus going to send y'all to my page. Let me tell y'all, you know, I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pity every groan, but I'm, I'm off. I'm all, so you're gonna get music, you're gonna get comedy, and you're gonna be a part of my day. I love everybody that even would take the time to follow me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Toya, Toya Perry. <laughs> um, I love I love everybody. So you can find me on Facebook at Lamont LJ Sloan. I think my name is down there. This is fancy right here. Or you could uh find me on Instagram at Lamont Junior 06. I had to rep for the fret L E A M O N D J R O six. You can find me in either one of those places, um, and you'll see a lot of my goings on, and like my music and my acting and everything. Absolutely, and y'all, one thing about us, we love Jesus, but there's a balance. You can live life and you can still have fun okay. and love God and still have a great relationship with God. And I think that's one thing that I love about you. Um, you know, when we get together, it's always a good time. We have we have a good time. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, because I, I feel like you got a good sense of humor. I feel like Jesus is laughing at your braids right now. Okay, well then, see, okay, I'm gonna be respectful on these internet, <laughs> but um, again, no, we have a good time, and this is what this is what we do. So, do. Um, please, whatever you guys do, if you know people that are looking for songs that um, just you know need a good laugh or just you know need to have a good time y'all hit my brother up on his social media you can also find me at marcus g morton on instagram marcus g morton ministries on facebook uh also marcus g morton on twitter uh so you know follow me on all those different platforms <laughs> what'd you say so you all over the place I'm all over the place. You can find yeah, me anywhere. I'm do this. But somebody told me that Percy Beatty had got on here oh, one of them weeks, and I said, you know, Percy Beatty is the GOAT. Huh? So <laughs> Percy Beatty can get on here. Surely. I can get well, on look here. At the look at him. Uh, he asked you a question. Let's talk about Devon Baker, and he's my where's my song, Lamar. Uh -oh. I wrote, I wrote Devon a song. Drove to the, Devon stay in Catamaroo, Catamaroo, Georgia. You ain't gonna find it. Put it in my question. You ain't gonna find it. that's how far he stay. I drove all mm -hmm. the way out and Devon sing this song. You know what Devon? Um, I can't catch the beat. Send it to me in a voice note. He got all these different, you know. Devon don't want no song. And then I see I write like music that I feel like if Jesus was walking into the room, you know, in the halls of the banquets and the that's my that's the music I write. Devon, mm -hmm. Devon could write gospel music that you want to turn the lights down low and light some candles. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to go to another bag. I didn't been a for, I've been fortunate enough to write a different style of music, but I ain't. Oh, one so I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a little bit of a groove to you know mess with Divine because you know he on all that level. So y'all, since Divine is on here, that's our brother too. We all sing together. Um, we we literally have relationship for real. This is not play. 
we take care of each other. We look out for yeah. each other. Don't get abundant. So that's a that was just that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, that's a y'all see Devon's um information is on the screen, right? He was laughing at our little banter here. But that picture that he has in there with the hat and all that good stuff, that's his new single abundantly. Uh, yeah. go look him up, Devon Baker. And I'm telling y'all, cool. it's amazing. Uh, and I'm grateful. He's also one of the the singers with the crew as well. So um, you know, again, we have we have a good time. And as people, as Lamont said, and somebody just Toya just put it up, my little sister. Turn the lights down, Jesus music. Right, so, go get it, Toya. Watch, watch what I tell you. Go get I it. I mean, you might, you know, body roll a little bit, you know, just a little bit, but it's, it's but it, it's about Jesus. It's, it's about, about Jesus. Jesus. Music and, and the boy can sing. You know, and I he even can sing. Yeah, he can definitely sing. So we yeah. support one another and we look out for each other. Uh, so Lamont, I want to thank you for just taking a few minutes out of your time to, you know, make this happen tonight. Uh, again, I'm grateful for you being a part of this project. Thank you for holding me down. Just, you know, even before I got here, you told yeah. me, brother, you moved down here, you moved to Georgia, I got you, and you've held true to that every word. Whenever I call you, the only time you tell me no is if you just booked and you just can't do it. And if you can't do it, you're going to find somebody to do it to make sure that I'm covered. So I am uh, I love you and I appreciate you um, for being who you are and who you've been uh, to me. And this song... I can't wait to sing it live. I cannot. And that's what I'll tell you something. That's why I gave you the song because it got a little growl. You know how you like to sing higher than everybody. Just, <laughs> get, get, give him this song right here because he's going to get the growling. He's going to be singing soprano. This, you take, take this one right here. Devon said he want everybody to come on to Christ yep. in an abundant way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus, Jesus love all type of music. He really, really does. All styles. Yeah. All styles. Jesus, yeah, is the like, Jesus is the head. I mean, God is the head creative. Like so. I mean, and we don't have to be boxed in. Um, we do not have to be boxed in, and and you know that's one of the things that I want us to do, uh, well, to know and understand. Just as you know, as Christians and creatives. Don't box yourself in. Don't be afraid to take risk and take chances. Somebody gonna like it, and it's it, what you have. Somebody else needs. Um, and just so while we're on that, you know, you said I sing higher than everybody else. You know, you. But I'm just saying, you don't sing like that. But you're still what you still have is good. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want people to get hung up in you know. Oh well, I. I can't sing like this person or I can't sing like that person. Let's yeah. talk about those insecurities for a minute. Cause I think both of us, we've had real conversations um, about, um, about us as individuals. Yeah. And, you know, we want so much to, you know, Oh God, you know, I want, I want to, I want it to be like this. So I won't, I hope they like it or this and the other. Yeah. Talk about that for a minute. We're, and, and then we're going to go to this question that Lawrence posed too. people allow spirit, spirituality and religion to have them make poor business decisions. Any tips in doing good business and songwriting? Lawrence, we're coming back. We're coming to that as well. So that twofold question, Lamont, go ahead. Okay. So in terms of your uniqueness, everybody has a fingerprint, you know, everybody has a fingerprint that is so different than everybody else that was ever created. And that's for a reason. Um, and you know, you have a lot of people that you, you can listen to, to try to, you know, uh, maybe like practice with them, but never, ever, ever lose yourself. Never, ever lose your own individuality and creativity. And it's really, really easy to look at somebody on your right or your left. And you feel like they're being successful at what they're doing. But how many of us have heard another artist and, and say, oh man, they sound just like, or they sound just like, or they sound just like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And many times, man, what we need in the industry and what we need in terms of good music is everybody being themselves. You know what I'm saying? We don't need carbon copies of everything. So what you have is good enough because it was given by the gift giver and he is the greatest. You see what I'm saying? Songs that are riding on the highway, bro, or um, walking around in a house uh, or songs. I feel like the Holy spirit was singing to me. If he's singing them to me, it's good enough. Mm hmm. Now, I might have to flush out the concept and he gives me wisdom on how, oh, you know, switch this around and write it this way. Oh, use this as a parallelism or change this up, right? Because he gives us mm -hmm. that wisdom, that, that intellect. But because he gave me the song, it's good enough. You don't have to hear what's on the radio and mimic what's on the radio in order to have a hit. Because what worked for them may not work. And that's even yeah. that's even because we go in and out of different uh, places of worship with what we do, what 
what may work in one house may not work in another exactly. house. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Uh, so we have to, again, not box ourselves in and 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 be confident in yeah. what God has given us. So I want and another thing that Lamont said, you know, he's like, you sing high or you'll growl and this and the other for a long time. I hated that part of my voice. Mm. I hated it. I hated it. I hated that. I, I felt like it wasn't clear or it wasn't, you know, as you know, as open as, you know, others. But it's what made me me. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, very, the very thing that I hated so much, people will always be like, I wish my voice could do that. Yeah. I wish my voice can do what yours is doing. How do you do that? And I'm like, I, don't I try know. to growl like this. My throat going to be on the floor. OK, I'm going to get half a song out of me. And that's it. You can do that for I'm sorry, I can't do that. Crazy. So let's go back to the question that uh, Lawrence posed. Okay. So people allow spirituality and religion to have them make poor business decisions. Any tips in doing good business in songwriting? I am a testament to saying, oh, I'm just writing for the Lord. And all just, you know, all uh, unfortunately, people will take advantage of you if they can. Mm -hmm. Christians serving God or not going to church or not. And at the end of the day, because the gift was given to you, it will make room for you. And that room can also be financial, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you have to be really, really careful to not intertwine your spirituality and your business and let it put you in a, in a place of disadvantage. Um, the best thing that you can do in terms of being a beginning songwriter uh, is to maybe get collabor collaborators, uh, people who have been doing it for a while. You see what I'm saying? If you can reach out to them or somebody in your city or somebody that you have some type of connection to, you can write with them and get co-writes. Most of the songs y'all hear nowadays are co-writes. It's very, very rare to hear a song that was written by one person. So if you're trying to break into the, the, the music industry as a songwriter, the first bit of advice I can give you is to try to get co-writes, try to link up with other creatives and write a song. Also, you want to network with producers. Producers are going to be the ones that are probably going to be selecting the song for the project. Artists, they have their, so say, uh, their say so, especially if they're independent artists. But it's also good to connect with producers because they can plug you or they can put your name out there like, oh, I met this writer and such and such. And they bring you in as well. Mm -hmm. Once you get there, walk into that session with a split sheet. If you walk in with a split sheet, walk out with a split sheet. What am I saying? I'm saying that there's a piece of, piece of paper and you can Google it. And it is uh, pretty much a document that says, hey, I contributed to this song. This is my contribution. Everybody signs it. Everybody gets a copy of it. Because once this music gets out there, every now and again when a song blows up, people's personalities and character really show when, when money gets involved. So the best way to protect yourself is always to have uh, a split sheet as you exit the session. And then from there on out, you need an administrator. An administrator, if you don't know how to register your music, how to get your music copywritten, how to get it out there and shop, and how to get placements, you can try to find an administrator, a person that's like solely does that. They solely work on the administrative side, mm -hmm. of getting your songs registered, getting your songs copywritten, making sure that you are protected. So there are several things in the terms of the business of songwriting that you have to be uh, cognizant of when you're doing it, but uh, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? And the more you do it, the better you will get good at it. But please don't allow the fact that you are both serving God or you're both Christians <laughs> trick you or, or make you believe that they're going to do the right thing when a lot of people don't. Wow. Great advice. Um, wow. Just wow. And then he go toy is talking about some I sang high and start jumping all over the place. <laughs> is she talking about me when I church to your church? No, she's talking about me. She's talking about me. Okay, okay. She's talking about me singing high and jumping all over the place. But y'all need to know and understand if I jump, Lamond is going to jump with me and make sure that y'all jumping too. <laughs> we we going after him with everything we got. And that's one thing I've always loved about you as well is that we put it all out there and yeah. it's, it's for God or, or nothing at all. And so let's continue to, you know, build on that. Um, again, I didn't want to hold you long. This, we, we literally hit the 30 minute mark. So we did really well. So thank you again for uh, being a part. And um, again, you guys go follow my brother uh, and follow me. And again, mighty and great is out there right now. The initial single, uh, the full project, 
keep watching all of my my social media you'll see uh the the dates drop real soon look who just popped in here my brother who just popped in here that's my brother right there milk Man, milk uh, milk I, I, milk is responsible for that and now i have a father don't get me wrong i honor my father in every way but when i got to college i have to attribute milk would uh being a really great role model for me i learned a lot of things from him on um how to grow into being a man by by watching him and some of his decisions and the way he carried himself so yeah i, I honor you i honor you milk so let while we talking about milk i've known milk since i was about seven we lived in the same neighborhood <laughs> so he was always the big brother then he was you know he's older yeah. so you know we yeah. always you know looked at him he was a million feet tall so yeah. you know we always looked up to him and so we've been connected yeah. since i was a kid so again have a circles connect and we're all alpha men hello old people so again um we love you milk we appreciate you uh sure. bro uh thank you for you know everything you've been to us uh yeah toya it's coming it's coming so y'all continue to follow us and um you'll see updates and stuff coming soon he is hilarious <laughs> like he said i used to sing while you wh which one of us used to do this <laughs> singing while running which, probably one, me, which one of us probably, was probably me because you probably ain't did no running i'm joking i'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> that's true okay y'all i'm gonna get off this live because <laughs> He's trying to make me lose all my influence on these algorithms. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm, we gonna go. Oh no, yep, it's me. So he's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Milk, for cleaning it up. We love y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please share Thank this to your feed. Uh, it will be still on um, my my page as well as Lamont's page. Um, y'all just follow us. We appreciate you again. Thank you for tuning in. See y'all next time. Thank y'all. Good night.